Good afternoon. This is Brandon and Mala here on Chill on Tracks, and we've got some、uh, really great interviews、uh, lined up. It is now time to join Olia Buyar, who is the head of radio at Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union, as we celebrate World Radio Day 2023. So happy World Radio Day! We have Miss Olia on the line today. Hi, Miss Olia. Hello. Yes.、And、happy World Radio Day to you as well. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Yep.、Uh, since you know we are air- on air for the first time together, could you share a bit more about yourself、uh, to the listeners as well? Sure.、Uh, well, my name is Olia, <laughs> and I'm actually just upstairs from you, so it's wonderful to be on air from up here in my office. <laughs> okay.、Um, I am the head of radio for the Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union, and I have the enormous privilege to work with radio colleagues from all around our vast and diverse region. To develop radio as well as audio, and I'm originally from Ukraine.、Mm-hmm. I was born in Ukraine.、Mm-hmm. I studied in、uh, Canada, and I live in Australia. But now in KL, so a little bit from all over the world. But、mm. you know, radio calling colleague nonetheless. Wow, that's such an interesting、uh, journey, I and mean, you must have met a lot of people along the way. Is there any you know fondest memory that you had of radio growing up, or currently even? Well, you know,、um, when I was growing up in、uh, in Ukraine, I left when I was eleven, and radio was a very important part of everybody's lives because in those days, and、um, you know, we're not going to talk about you know what year it was, are we? <laughs> it was、uh, yeah.、Um, radio Sorry, Miss Olia. Could you、yeah. speak a bit louder, a bit? Ah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> yes. No, I was going to say that when I was growing up in、um, in、Perfect. Ukraine,、mm. radio was a huge part of our lives,、mm. and、um, everyone to、um, not only listened to radio but sort of gathered around the radio for all the important happenings. And same thing in Canada. And look, now、um, I love listening to podcasts. So wherever I go, I've always got some. <laughs> playing in my ears, so I can't get away from it. Yeah, I think it's something that's like our natural habit. If we're always、uh, prone to listening to radio, and then we naturally move on to anything that we have on audio, right?、Uh, what What made you decide to pursue a, ca- a, ca- a career in radio in the first place, though, Miss Olia? Well, you know, I actually started in print media, and、mm. uh, radio kind of happened. And when、um, I started working in radio first part time, I just absolutely fell in love with it and stayed there. <laughs> I mean, I just I love the immediacy of radio. When something happens anywhere in the world, within minutes you can hear about it.、Yeah. I also love the fact that it's so intimate. It's like you know your favorite companion that you can take anywhere with you when you're at home, getting ready for work, on the way to work. Relaxing with your favorite DJ, it just goes with you everywhere. So that's yeah. what I love about it.、So、yeah,、much. that's so great. I think for many of us,、uh, we definitely can relate to that. And you know, it's so exciting to celebrate World Radio Day. And you know, this、uh, year it's themed as、uh, Radio and Peace.、Uh, what are your thoughts, though, and and how will how it will affect you in that sense? You know, radio and peace such a big subject, right? Like I can just understand why people get so overwhelmed with it.、Mm-hmm. But as broadcasters, we really can't ignore all the conflicts and suffering in the world.、Mm-hmm. Nor can we paint a rosy picture to hide it from our listeners. But what、True. we can do is tell our listeners honestly what's happening. And help them understand. And I think by understanding, they're better equipped to deal with the sadness and the hurt that inevitably comes from tragedies.、Yeah. Radio has always been able to do this because it's such an intimate medium, and people know their favorite DJ so well, and they trust、mm. them. So radio works really well to open listeners' minds and help them find peace in troubled times. Yeah, for sure. And I think it's a complete different way of conveying that message, part in particular, right? And you know,、yes. for someone who's who's been in 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 this industry for a long time, what are your hopes、uh, for radio in the future, in the coming future? You know, I really hope that it just keeps going from <laughs> strength to strength, the way it has been for the past hundred years.、Mm. In fact, this year we're celebrating hundred years of radio in many parts of the world, including Asia.、Mm. So、our medium、um, is wonderfully adaptive. It follows us through all of our technological leaps, and whether it's on air, online, or in your earpods or my earpods,、mm. <laughs> I hope to always hear the wonderful sounds of radio. Ah,、oh, that's so fantastic! I love the way that you're expressing. 
how much you love radio and I can definitely relate to it, Miss Olya. Uh, we do have, we are short of time uh, currently right now. Is there anything else that you would like to say to our listeners here at Trax FM? Yes, I just wanted to say happy World Radio Day, everyone. Enjoy your radio. Oh, okay, that's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Olya. It was such a pleasure uh, to have you on air with us today, and thank you for spending your time with Thank us. Thank you yeah? very much. All right, there you have it. That was on behalf of Trax FM. We wish you a happy World Radio Day. That was Ms. Olya Buyar, Head of Radio, Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union. It is the 3rd of February 2023 and today we are celebrating World Radio Day with the team Radio and Peace. Share your World Radio Day message on hashtag TracksFMOfficial.